Hey there, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be giving you 10 plus tips to help you maximize the battery life of your Apple MacBook Air M3. Let's go. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio, and in this channel, I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. So with that being said, let's get right to it. So I'm going to be giving you 10 plus tips to help you maximize the short-term and long-term battery life of your Apple MacBook Air M3. Now you don't necessarily have to use all of these tips to get the most out of your battery, but I would suggest using at least some of them to help your battery last you its longest. All right, so let's jump right in. So tip number one is that when you first receive your Apple MacBook Air, if you get it brand new, it's good to always charge it on its first charge always to 100%. This allows the battery to be expanded to its maximum capacity so that you can continue using it on from there. Tip number two is to enable dark mode. So when you're first setting up your MacBook, you can set it up through the settings and the initial setup. If not, we can click on the little apple over here, go to system settings. Here we're going to scroll down to appearance. And then in appearance, here we have multiple modes. We have either light mode, dark mode, or auto mode. Auto mode will switch on and off between light and dark mode, depending on how much brightness the MacBook senses on the exterior. But to maximize your battery, go ahead and select dark mode because dark colors on your screen use up less brightness and less brightness equals longer battery life. So tip number three is to keep the brightness on your screen as low as possible. Obviously you wanna be able to enjoy your MacBook and enjoy the colors of the screen, but to get the maximum out of your battery, it's good to use lower brightness. So it's not good to always have it on max like this. It's good to have it somewhere in the middle or a little bit below the middle, especially at nighttime. Okay, I like to keep it just in the middle. Another thing that you also want to do relating to screen brightness is going to your system System settings go to displays here in displays you can also adjust your brightness here but what you want to also do is enable automatically adjust brightness that way it will also detect the exterior brightness and adjust accordingly and also true tone as this will help the laptop decide what colors to use depending on the time of day and exterior lighting conditions as well so tip number four is to update your auto lock so here in system settings, we're gonna scroll down to lock screen. And what you wanna do is the second option right here, which is turn off display on battery when inactive. This, you wanna set it to one minute. It usually comes as two minutes. Set it to one minute. That way, when you walk away from your laptop, it will automatically turn the screen black and save battery after one minute. And this over time will definitely help your battery. So tip number five is to disable the screensaver. So yes, the screensaver can look nice and all, but it does drain more battery because it's really not needed. Um, so if you want to maximize the battery, you can just turn it off. You can select here, start screensaver when inactive. Uh, here, it's usually after I think 20 minutes, you can just select never and it will never activate the screensaver. And that way after one minute, the screen will just black out and your laptop will be saving battery. Tip number six is to enable low power mode. So once again, in system settings, we're gonna scroll down to battery. Here in battery, you will see low power mode. Here, we can just select on always. Okay, that's the best option. However, this might make your MacBook a little bit slower because it will reduce processes to help increase battery life. Another option you can select if you don't uh, wanna always have it activated is just have it activated only when you're using the actual battery of the MacBook. Tip number seven is optimized battery charging. So this is gonna be also here in system settings, scroll down to battery. Here in battery, you will select where it says battery health. Just select here on the eye. And here, make sure that optimized battery charging is enabled. What this will do is that it will limit your battery charging to 80%. And this has shown over time to, you know, give your battery a longer lifespan and prevents overcharging. Moving on to tip number eight. And tip number eight is a storage tip. And tip number eight is to use your laptop only in good temperatures. So you shouldn't be taking your laptop outside if it's extremely cold or if it's extremely hot. This over time will also damage your battery and cause automatic shutdowns, which the MacBook will do in order to protect itself. Okay, but these extreme temperatures will damage uh, your battery. So keep your MacBook between 32 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is also zero to 35 degrees in Celsius. 
Number nine is a storage tip. If you're ever gonna store your MacBook away for an extended period of time, maybe a few days, a couple weeks, maybe even months, it's good to store it with at least 50 to 70% battery life. It's not good to just let it drain all the way to zero and store it that way because if you leave your MacBook at zero for extended periods of time, it will be harder for it in the future to retain its charge. So store your MacBook with between 50 to 70% battery life. Tip number 10 is something that we always overlook, but something that's also very important with time, and it is to disconnect your MacBook from the charger once your intended battery charge it percentages reach. So if you're charging to 80%, disconnect it at 80%. Don't leave it plugged in. If you're charging it to 100%, disconnect it at 100%. Uh, don't leave it plugged in. Even though these new laptops come uh, pre-configured to protect themselves from overcharging, um, disconnecting your charger when the battery is fully charged is super easy and something that will cause less strain on the laptop and on the battery life. So those are the 10 tips, but I have two more bonus tips for you guys. So tip number 11 is a connectivity tip. So if you're not using Bluetooth go ahead and disable it a lot of the times uh, we're not using Bluetooth we're not connected to you know any exterior accessories uh, headphones mouses anything like that so just turn it off and turn it on when you're gonna use it you know having Bluetooth enabled all the time will just keep the MacBook uh, continually searching for uh, Bluetooth signals and this also drains the battery a little bit more and the final tip tip number 12 that I'm gonna give you guys is to keep your notifications silenced because having notifications running all the time non-stop will also drain your battery since the processor is continually uh, getting information from all these applications and this over time will also drain your battery faster in the short term and in the long term as well so over here in system settings you can select notifications here and you can either disable notifications altogether by selecting never or at least only allow notifications when your screen is unlocked okay because if you leave it to always even if your screen is locked and blacked out the laptop is always going to be receiving notifications uh, and that's going to drain your battery much more okay so i'm going to leave it to at least to when unlocked to preserve my battery all right everyone so those are 10 plus tips to help you maximize the battery life of your macbook air m3 go ahead and destroy that like button if this video helped you out comment down below and let me know that's all for this one catch you in the next one and as always peace